Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So earlier today, as I mentioned, yesterday on the 8th, Microsoft rolled out the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build to the Canary and Dev channels, which both find themselves now on build 26052. And this means now that Windows Insiders in the Dev channel are being moved from receiving 23,000 series builds to receiving 26,000 series builds, as in this case. And something just to take note of if you are affected by this, that the Canarian Dev channels receiving the same builds is only temporary, says Microsoft. Now, in effect, um, a lot of these features um, we're going to look at today could be rolling out with the Windows 11 24H2 feature update later this year, which Microsoft has now officially confirmed. And I'll leave that video as well in the description. And the first new feature in Build 26052 um, is where Microsoft is introducing the Linux command sudo for Windows. So they're introducing the Linux sudo command for Windows. Now I've posted a whole video on that already today, so I'll leave that down in the description if you'd like to go check out sudo for Windows. Now, as to not make this video too drawn out, I've just picked some of the key highlights because this is a major update with a major uh, blog post and um, change log. So the first is, and just to focus on some of those highlights, the first is that they are making enhancements in hearing aid support, where uh, Microsoft has mentioned that they are introducing capabilities for you to adjust the volume of ambient sound captured by your hearing aids. And these controls adjust the balance between streamed audio and sound picked up from the surrounding environment. So I think that's a nice move. And then they say they've also making enhancements to Bluetooth and devices on the settings page to provide additional functionality where you can monitor essential Bluetooth device details when available, such as battery life and connection status through an expandable menu for each connected device. And what we are looking at here is that uh, these new enhancements are available for hearing aids, says Microsoft, on all other devices and all other devices, sorry, on this page. So you can try this feature by going to settings, Bluetooth, and devices, devices. Then moving on to the next, and yeah, we have the audio mark test utility to test audio in different processing modes, where Microsoft has said this is a convenient way to test the difference between default and communication mode audio, where you can select the mode and record and or listen to audio in both modes, which will allow you to easily compare audio processing modes for applications built for the Windows ecosystem, which I think this little feature could be a nice move. And then focusing a little bit on Copilot, and I think this is an interesting move, which could be a useful feature uh, if you do find yourself using Copilot on a regular basis, where Microsoft mentions they are trying out a new experience, as they call it, for Copilot in Windows that helps showcase the ways that Copilot can accelerate and enhance your work. Um, this feature will show when you copy text. So the Copilot icon, as we can see, will change appearance and animate to indicate that Copilot can help. And basically Microsoft says that there are several different treatments, so you may notice a different visual effect. So when you hover your mouse over the Copilot icon, as we can see, it will provide a menu of actions that you can take such as summarizing or explaining the copy text. If you select an action on the menu, it will launch Copilot with the action ready to go, says Microsoft. And then moving on to the next, and this is focusing on Energy Saver on the taskbar in the system tray. And Microsoft says they've updated the Energy Saver icon for desktop PCs, that's PCs without batteries. And this icon is shown on the system tray when Energy Saver is enabled. So this is on the left, Energy Saver icon on desktop PCs, and on the right, Energy Saver icon on laptops, which just differentiates that. And that's just a little small, but maybe a small little change, but maybe a step in the right direction. And then moving on to this next um, new feature. And Microsoft says that Windows insiders who use the color management control panel to make changes to their color profiles can now use the all new color management settings page. So this is obviously before and after. Uh, the settings page located under settings system display color management and this new settings page they say will allow you to add or remove color profiles as well as set default color profiles for the connected displays. In addition, um, auto color management can now be found on the new color management settings page. So basically they've just upgraded that 
into the actual Windows settings. Now, this is just a small little tweak and adjustment um, for the register editor. If you do use the register editor, which now supports um, limiting a search to the current selected key and its descendants. So there we go, search in subtree. So if you are using the registry, the registry editor, that may be a nice move. And the next one is where Microsoft say they've adjusted the text in the notification where a PC detects a slow charger just to make that a little bit more obvious now so for the best charging experience use a higher watt charger and here's another one microsoft says you can now use the camera app to join a wi-fi network so how this will all work is you just scan a qr code with wi-fi details and link and a link will be provided that will open settings to quickly get the new wi-fi profile added and connected and i think and that's also a nice move in the right direction. Now, because, because we do find ourselves in the um, Dev and Canary channel, there are a whole lot of fixes that have rolled out for um, known issues. We get new known issues because it's still early days in both, um, both the Canary and the Dev channel. And then lastly, we get another Microsoft Store update, which has now been bumped up to version 22,401, where Microsoft say they've improved the Microsoft 365 pages to better describe all the benefits included in the subscription you can now compare between monthly and annual plans to determine what's best for you and you can browse the features in various apps included in microsoft 365 so as mentioned that's um some of the key highlights i've taken uh, from this week's latest canary and dev channel um builds which both find themselves now on build 26052 and in effect as mentioned some of these features could possibly roll out with windows 11 version 24h2 later this year so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one